Hello fellas, thought we'd finish off with American beer. This is an Anchor IPA, uh, made in San Francisco. Nice little label on it. Look at the colour of that baby. Oh, hey, look at the head on that. You're kidding me, aren't you? What would happen for an Aussie beer if I did that? It wouldn't fire up at all. What the fuck's going on? Anyway, let's give it a try. It looks fucking delicious. I've had a few beers now. I'm going to cut the French out. Tell you what, that's a bloody kick ass IPA, that one. That tastes delicious. Oh. Americans are getting some kick-ass beers out of their country now. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Talk about going from back of the plate to the front of the plate. Back in the 80s, the Americans had the worst beer in the world. And, uh, you know, the, the English sort of were well-known, some of the Scottish ones, but... Belgian ones, yeah, your Heineken, your, your Stella, yeah, you had your, your beers around the world that people knew and drank all the time, but I tell you, these American beers now, they're just, oh, destroying, destroying them. That's a great beer. Well done, fellas, at Anchor. Thank you very much. I'm going to have to go there when I go to the States. I'm planning a trip for next year. So um, I'm going to head to, uh, they have a festival type thing over there called Burning Man in the Nevada Desert, I believe. Um, we've sort of semi-booked in to go to that. So I reckon that'd be a great life experience. I'm all for traveling and doing all the different things. Probably head to Colorado or somewhere interesting on the way. Hawaii for sure. I've already talked about that. We're going to go to Kauai. Haven't been there yet. I've been to Maui and the big island of Hawaii and Oahu, of course. Uh, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing all the things around the world. If I go somewhere, I want to see the proper whole country. But uh, don't do it in a quick rush, you know. Take your time. You've got plenty of years. Just do it. Now I want to show you some of my little Buddhist artifacts here. These two are uh, supposedly the oldest I have. These are dating from about two and a half thousand years ago. These are supposedly come out of the tomb from the first emperor of China. He united China, the first one, and when he was buried, he had the terracotta warriors. And these were buried with the terracotta warriors. And I have read that it is a part of history that they did bury some bronze images with them. Uh, so, and these actually came out as part of the exhibit from China back in the 80s with some authentic terracotta warriors they brought out and they showed them off in Australia in the Melbourne Museum at least I saw them there but they went to other places and I happened to get these through a third party uh, it's a bit of a difficult story to tell you but there was a third one, and I didn't get it. It was never given to the third party. Uh, but I managed to get these two, and that's enough for me. Now, I have seen similar images in Bangkok for sale. Maybe half the size, and maybe, you know, similar sort of uh, condition. Uh, $10,000. Well, I can tell you this, I'm not selling, not for 10000 These are unique, and I'll never come across anything like it. 
so I'm hanging on to them. They're pretty majestic. It's the male and the female, which I think is just great. You know, both sides of the story. A bit of balance, a bit of wah, a bit of everything. Alright fellas, I'll leave with that and uh, I'm going to finish this Anchor IPA. This is just delicious. And I wouldn't mind any um, questions on any of the Buddhist art. I've got a little bit more I'll, sh I'll show you over the next few months. So see what we can come up with. Cheers fellas. Bye.